paid to play? The issue of whether or not student-athletes should be paid is a debated issue at Pepperdine and beyond. Some student-athletes feel that the amount of work that they do for the school is underestimated. When you take into account like the hours you put in every week, when you have like the 20-hour weeks we have with weights, practice, meetings, film, like it's practically a job at the end of the day. Based on the amount of time student-athletes put into sports, sports administration professor and attorney Alicia Jessup argues the law is on the side of student-athletes. Because of our employment laws in the United States, I think it's illegal not to compensate them for the work that they do. Whether or not student-athletes should be paid, however, is not the same question as whether or not they can be paid. Legal complications like Title IX may make the idea impossible. There's a lot more at play here than I think the average person realizes, and it would take a whole reform with the NCAA if they expected schools to pay student-athletes based on value that they bring in. Because of this, student-athletes may not be paid, but they do enjoy benefits, including special facilities. For some, just the opportunity to continue their sport at the collegiate level is enough. It's like a job, but we signed up for it. We're here to, we're here to compete. We're here, we're here for some sports to make it to the next level. Some student-athletes, those on scholarship, are also getting a college education. Students and experts agree that education has an inherent value. You're a student first, which is the way it was supposed to be. Yeah. Being a student athlete, you just have to strive for both ends of the student and athlete. At Pepperdine, students and experts have decided student athletes cannot be paid. Whether this issue will be decided in court or by each school remains to be seen. Oh! Two -two pitch. Carl Winter, Newswaves 32.